Good afternoon and welcome to the RFA grounds, right in the heart of Nairobi for another Rugby Africa Gold Cup match between Kenya and their perennial rivals Uganda. An East African encounter, an East African derby that also doubles up as the Elgon Cup as well as the Rugby World Cup qualifier 2019 competition. So much at stake in this game here and the fans ensuring that uh, they're not missing any of the action. A good turnout from across the border with uh, several busloads of uh, Ugandan fans uh, having made their way to Nairobi for this second encounter this year between uh, these two teams. But back to the Af Rugby Africa standings, it's Namibia on top with the 15 points, followed by Kenya at 8, Morocco with 3, Zimbabwe at 2, and rooted in 5 and 6 position are uh, Uganda and Tunisia, both with no points at all in uh, this encounter. So plenty to play for this afternoon here in Nairobi in one of the two Rugby Africa games that will be taking place. And you can see the Uganda files, fans uh, making their way here to the ground, the flag making its presence known here at the ground. Definitely, Uganda have come with an attempt to take over Nairobi this afternoon via this crucial rugby encounter that promises to bring a lot of excitement. Well, earlier on, we managed to speak to the Uganda national rugby team coach, John Duncan, and this is what he had to say. Your fourth year as Uganda coach and playing Kenya is not a surprise to you. Ready for this game? Yeah, look, I think the players are putting the hard work. We always uh, expect a tough game here in Kenya. It's uh, probably one of the most uh, fiercely contested. It's an East African derby, and it's a game the boys always look forward to. Namibia gave you a thorough hiding in your first match, and uh, where does that put you in terms of World Cup qualification today? Yeah, look, it doesn't help crying over spilled milk now. We've got to focus on going forward. We can't get five out of five, but we certainly can go for it today. And our aim is to get four out of five. So, uh, yeah, the players are putting the hard work. Like you say, it, uh, it was a bad day at the office, but we need to uh, man up today. Thank you very much, John, and wishing you all the best. Thanks. And after that, uh, a very confident uh, coach uh, lined up Uganda squad with uh, Mugero as the captain in the prop position. A good encounter coming from Emong Elifaz, Marvin Odongo, together with uh, James Odong, Pasagena, Michael Waterage, Justin Kimoni, the vice captain, and the star, Philip Waterage, and fullback, uh, will be the main uh, threats coming in from uh, Uganda. Well, Kenyan coach Ian Snook had this to say. Ian, your second game against Uganda and your third game in a row. What's the condition in the camp? Yeah, pretty good today, actually. We we seem to have come up quite strong. The boys seem pretty focused. And um, obviously, we've had a couple of injuries that we've replaced. So there'll be no excuses. Everyone's fresh and ready to go. Uganda coming very strong at us uh, this time. Uh, and after having lost one game, it's a derby. And you know how derbies become unpredictable. Absolutely. We're expecting a, a really, really tough game. The boys know that. They've talked about it. So let's just hope that we're up for it. Thanks very much, Ian, and all the best. Thank you. Well, a, a much relaxed Ian Snook named the same front row that began last week, but a change in the, in the, mid, in the middle with Oliver Mangani coming in at the second row. Same halfback pairing. Jacob Oje resumes on the left wing together with the debutant Felix Ayange and 35-year-old veteran Vincent Mose starts at fullback for Kenya. Both teams have got uh, quite a number of uh, replacements uh, with uh, Peter Kari and Moses Amusala key for Kenya together with Biko Adima while Uganda will have the Cameroonian born Marshall Chunkam in the squad together with Adrian Casito as the back replacements. Both teams are lining up, walking into the field there with the pre-match formalities. A very, very tense moment it is for both sides. You can see the tension in the faces of both teams. Kenya in their red home strip and Uganda in their dark away strip. But uh, both teams are all the raring to go. Once the whistle has been blown for another 80 minutes, and you can see the Ugandan fans, boys are us here, and they've taken over one of their favorite stands whenever they're in Nairobi and they are certainly making their presence felt here at the RFU ground. A Kenya versus Uganda battle. The Elgon Cup is the trophy that you see there that uh, is being contested, contested for.
apart from this being a Rugby World Cup qualifier and an Africa Gold Cup game, the Elgon Cup is at stake. Kenya having won the first leg 34-16, so with a commanding lead against their counterparts. But uh, this game is far from over if you ask those Ugandan fans there as they keep shouting and taunting the Kenyan crowd. It's going to be a good afternoon here at the RFEA. A bit windy, you can see the flags there just are blowing uh, quite well. The sun keeps popping its head in and out, so but, uh, cool conditions here. And uh, made in Uganda, or is it made of Uganda? Is what uh, these Ugandan fans uh, are coming. I've seen they've taken over the ground. They may not be many, but they are the loudest here at the RFEA ground, certainly enjoying it themselves. So both teams lining up, and uh, Asman Mugero, the captain there, it will be interesting to see whether he has grown into his role as captain. I've just seen uh, the referees also having their moment in the sun, taking a photo with the Elgon Cup. I guess for them also, it's one of those occasions. If you're not a player, if you're not a coach, then you're the third part of the game. You're a referee, a captain. Crowd continuing to make their way here as the chairman of the Kenya Rugby Union, together with Nairobi Senator Johnson Kasakaja, among other dignitaries, are greeting the crowd. You can see officials from State House Jim Turi there coming in uh, to greet, as well as uh, they start with the Uganda team. The handshake so Senator last week was here and he gave a reward to the Kenya team, as well as promised to reward them again if they win. And uh, it'll be good to know what he has in profit store for the winning team this afternoon. Richard Omwala, long serving Kenya Rugby Union chairman there, just uh, leading the pack of dignitaries. There's a group of match officials this afternoon. Very excited that they're here, very excited to be in Nairobi. And it's now the turn of the Kenya team, led by their captain, Davis Chege, who had a blistering game last week. And will be hoping to replicate his fame. Certainly, the home team will be hoping to please their crowd with another win. This will be their third game in a row. They've played two games, one away in Morocco, last week over here in Nairobi. And again, this week, they make an entrance here at the RFEA grounds before this competition takes a bit of a break until August. As you can see, the long-serving Ugandan coach, John Duncan, in his fourth year in charge, and certainly has had his moments against Kenya. But uh, today is a make or break. It's do or die. As is Ian Snook, very relaxed, but hoping that his charges will be alive to the fact that this game is much more difficult than it looks on paper. Chenge, the captain, just introducing part of the technical bench. Ian Snook, together with Murray, his assistant, as well as Charles Govey, and the long serving team manager. He calls himself the longest serving team manager in Africa, Wangela Simiyu. Just there, shaking hands with the dictators. The fans apprehensive. It's a bit of a fancy dress as well here, and as with all rugby tournaments worldwide, wherever you go, you never miss to see a mix and match of colours. As now, dignitaries will be lining up in front of uh, the grandstand as we listen to the Uganda national anthem.
crowd elated with the national anthem, knowing that it's a great moment. The national anthem is only played either for presidents or sportsmen. So this afternoon, the owner goes to the sportsmen. The referee this afternoon, Quinton Imelman from South Africa, assisted by Nicaro Pena from Namibia and Despot McDonald from Zimbabwe. Last minute prayers by both sides. Here we see the Kenyan team just uh, giving themselves uh, the final dose of uh, inspiration. They know it's going to be a tough one. They are familiar. You can know these two sides have met 22 times in the previous encounters. So this is the 23rd encounter. Meeting number 23 between these two sides. The contest that began way back in the year 2004. Philip Wokorach in your screen as well as uh, Samson Onsomo, the pivotal number nine who will be very key for Kenya in this game this uh, afternoon. Vincent Mose, 36-year-old veteran, makes his way back into the Kenya team. He's got legs, he's got the experience as Darwin Mokidzia, Mr. Versatility, according to Ian Snook. This is a player who means so much to Kenya. A key player playing at number 12 as the referee Immelman Quinton just ensuring that all is set, all is ready for this uh, historic encounter here at the RFEA grounds. It will be Uganda getting this match underway as uh, Fly Half boots it right into the Kenyan half. Nice take there by Chenge. He's got a good first catch from him. Just uh, collecting Ivan Magomo's uh, kick. So it's Uganda who goes straight into defensive mode. Kenya will be looking to get out of their half. And uh, just to let you know that uh, the commentary this afternoon is myself, Herbert Mochiro, together with former Uganda captain. And it is a battle between Kenya and Uganda. Adrian, welcome, Adrian. Thank you very much, Herbert. It's exciting to be here as Uganda makes a sniping run into the into the. Um, Kenyan half, but uh, very exciting and very important game for both teams and we're looking forward to some really fierce, passionate and exciting rugby. Well, Adrian, you were here last week. You watched Kenya against uh, Zimbabwe. You've seen Uganda perform this season. What elements are we looking at in this game? Keys to victory for Kenya are discipline. Last week uh, they had a yellow card by Peter Kilonzo that cost them about 18 points. So they need to be disciplined to make sure they have all the complement. They have to get a bit more accurate in their set pieces and they have to really trust the speed of execution. For Uganda, they really have to have also discipline to ensure that they also are able to maximize on all the opportunities. Controlling the ball possession and uh, the pace of the game to stop Kenya from uh, counter-attacking and key, key, key for Uganda is scramble defense because Kenya are lethal when they're counter-attacking. First mistake by Uganda, just having that ball wide but it's Marvin Odongo who just kept his eyes off the ball so it will be the first set piece of the afternoon. Odongo, one of uh, the key players in this uh, Ugandan side and uh, Adrian Bukenya has already told us a loss of what both teams would have to do. But Adrian, looking at the Ugandan side, they've brought the whole contingent that's going to the Sevens World Cup into this squad. Amazing, isn't it? Absolutely. Uganda is here for business. They're, they're planning to win this game. They're really bringing the strongest squad I've seen this year. The entire back line from the number eight is going to the Sevens World Cup, and really they're trying to make sure that they take advantage of this very good game. Kenya make their first mistake. Darwin Mokidza unable to get that ball to Ayangi on the wing. Ayangi in your picture making his debut for Kenya. So congratulations, Felix. Has been a member of uh, the, fifth, the seventh team previously, but uh, now deciding to chart his uh, rugby path uh, with the 15th side. So this afternoon, Ian Snook has given him the nod to start against Uganda. So winning his first cup, the Capras FC RFC player joins uh, number of his teammates of the people. Uh, but Lyra's Lyra, Lyra, Lyra are very critical today. We've got two young hookers for Uganda, both starting and on the bench. If they can keep the set pieces working, then they've got a chance to make sure they put pressure on the Kenyan defense. Good lineup by Uganda. We certainly have a platform right in the midfield. Release that Uganda! Scrub off uh, Aaron Ofarith. He plays for Kenya Harlequins in Nairobi. There's about six or seven players in this Uganda squad who ply their trade in Nairobi. Kenya, rather in Kenya. 
Big hits going in already, but big hits. Kenya's defense is uh, standing up to the Ugandan attack. A few poor handling errors by the midfield of Uganda. Maybe they're nerves, maybe they're not, but essentially everybody's trying to make a statement early in the game. Absolutely, possibly early nerves. You know, this is an East African derby. This is the Elgon Cup. The match that a lot of players die to play for. Good charge there coming in from George Nyambwa. And Kenya went there first. Penalty, got released. So discipline costing Uganda there. On Zomu takes Live it quick. Ten. And Odimo looking for a gap. Oh, makes it through. Making the support. Plays it wide. Oh, good run there. And it's Ayanga running to the corner. But just stopped by a wrestle of Uganda defense. He had the line in his sights, but Uganda did well to recover. But it's Kenya still on the attack. Isaac Adimo once again finding the big man here. Ivan Chobo. The number four just barrels his way through that Uganda defense. As Adimo again, he's got plenty of ball, but eight isolated at the moment. So Uganda getting a moment of defense, but the referee has blown his whistle. So it will be a penalty taken quickly by Kenya. And Kenya not going for the points, instead going for the job. They leave want it, Uganda, the leave it. They want the five pointer. They want to make the message clear to Uganda. Oh, there was no runner there. And they picked up by Joseph Odero. Can he make it over the line? So the referee will be looking. Held up, he says. So a bit of miscommunication between the two Kenyan players in what was actually quite a good move for them and an opportunity to make Strap. a five pointer, but this one lost. Herbert, what I said in the keys of the game was speed to execution. Kenya has been taking quick taps. They're really trying to hurry the game along. It's been a signature of their game over the past two, two times. Very close there. Uganda's defense holding, hold, holding strong. Uh, however, Kenya have shown their intent. And uh, it looks like Uganda's defense needs to be really, really strong in terms of trying to resist this. And if they should avoid giving away too many penalties because Kenya will take advantage of those. On Somo at number nine. Ball into the scrum. Chege. Leaves it, picks it, tries to barrel his way. Chege. Good defense coming in from Uganda. Excellent return, but it's almost still plays it wide. Kenya's looking to attack through the first channel. Still playing, looking to an opportunity. It's Darwin Mukiza. Held back well by Okorach. Good defense coming in from the veteran Ugandan center. And Kenya still looking for that five pointer. Big man, Patrick Ouko. Went back. Tomo caught in the traffic there, so there will be need for somebody else to step in as the halfback. And Darwin Mukiza plays it to Adimo Isaac. Good ball there to Kilonzo, but Kilonzo well read. So goes down, making a bill available for Kenya. Discipline will be key here for both sides, both in attack and in defense. And a long pass by Nimo looks for Ayange again. Ayange plays it back in. Oh, and that ball held up there. Shot off the line. It was Vincent Fosse who saw the line in his sights, but uh, still Kenya looking for that gap. Uganda defending with their lives here. They know that it's a dangerous moment. Kenya looking for penetration. And still Kenya close. But not yet there. Outside. This time it's it's Joseph Mujero, the big burly prop there from Cabras. Plays White Mageni Oliver. Experience is key for Kenya here. Even. How they utilize this ball, how they play with it is important. Again, Odi Adimo plays it wide. And this time, it's try time for Kenya with Jacobo J over the line. Patience paid for Kenya. Five-pointer, seven minutes into the game. It's Kenya who take the lead in this game, and the Ugandan fans are having none of Have an excellent execution by Kenya there. Resolute defense by Uganda, but after so many phases, there was one man too short. Kenya was able to suck in all the defenders with a short play and deliver an excellent try for the man who's coming back onto the team, Jacob Oje. Great long pass there. We see the end of the play, and uh, Kilonzo sends it out to OJ, and uh, Kenya take the lead, five points to zero. Great defense by Uganda, excellent attack by Kenya. First blood to the Simbas. Indeed, Jacobo J returns to the Kenya team. One of the four changes in the side named by Ian Snoop this afternoon. OJ comes into the team together with Ayange, Mose, and Mangeni. And it will be an opportunity for Darwin Wakidza. He's been quite an efficient kicker for Kenya over the years. And he'll be looking to add onto his own personal as well as his country's points time. First kick by Darwin. And the flags go up. Brilliant kick. Brilliant kick. 
by this sure footed kicker from KCB. Always reliable. Mr. Versatile can play at fullback, can play at fly half, and now settling into his role at centre. But it's Jacob OJ, number 11 for Kenya. His first try this afternoon and the first try for Kenya. Kenya 7, Uganda Cranes. Yes, Herbert, this is uh, indeed uh, a battle of uh, wits. Kenya drawing first blood. What can Uganda do in response to this? Ivan Mokomo, the kick just beyond the 10. Good take there by Oliver Mangeni, making that ball secure. And Kenya gets into the mall, moving forward, looking to gain the ground. Good play by Kenya. Good organization there. Attacked by the fourth referee. Set up on the side and out. So Kenya ready. We'll be having Let's a penalty. Uganda at sixes and sevens as Kenya moving forward and gaining crucial ground. Good play, good drive. On some organizing in the face. It's Elkia Smusonye having the ball at hand. Nice goes wide. Adimo, but a poor pass from Monsomo. But uh, Kenya will not worry too much about Illegal that. Collapse. They do have a penalty at the mall. Yeah, but excellent execution by Kenya there. Um, that driving ball was very punishing to the Ugandan defense. They had to resort to collapsing that mall, which is illegal, and that was what they were penalized for. Kenya has now got a chance to start another set piece deep in the Ugandan half, putting them uh, in a position to try and consolidate this lead. Uganda needs to find some poise and some calm at this moment because Kenya is starting to get confident and gain their ascendancy in this game. Indeed, Adrian. Kenya seem to have settled much faster than Ten. Uganda. Ten. Just going back into the annals of history, Uganda have actually beaten Kenya three times on this ground. They love this ground, but today it seems that like Kenya have taken ownership of this ground. So, so, so. I say it's in, early in, days. In, in, um, this in, game is really not head. about uh, history. It's about who shows up on the day. Anybody who has really got the emotions right and the tactics straight will do it. And so far, Kenya is showing that they're up for it. Keep up. Another driving ball by Kenya. On some, we're just urging the forwards to keep going forward. Keep it. Good ball retention there by Cole Manuere. Still moving forward, gaining ground. Referee has his hand out again. Uganda just have no answer to this. Driving more by Kenya. On top of plays it wide. And Imo Isaac keeps it to OJ. OJ just held by Okorach in the tackle there. But uh, referee Quinton Palmer already had his hand out and will be awarding Kenya penalty so uh, I recommend you have a good talk to your players now yeah. if they're gonna collapse the malls I'll card them if you're gonna play it like that cynical I'll card you and your offsides time off speak to the players well 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 stern warning there from the referee the time is referee off. just warning the Ugandan captain that uh, if they keep on continuously right collapsing we'll the up. driving mall Adrian cards will be the order of the day. Absolutely. Discipline is key in this game and Kenya are really taking advantage of their structure in the, in the line out. Go. That driving mall is Stop lethal off. and I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised on the line. if Kenya decided to actually go for another line out uh, from here and try and make sure that they get the points. Uganda's discipline has been in, called into question and Kenya Bonage. not interested in the points. They're going for the line out. Clearly, they want to close this game out very early. So Kenya know they've got Uganda on the malls. Ian Snook will have done his homework on the East African nation. And we'll be making sure that uh, this week round, the set pieces are much more efficient compared to the game against Zimbabwe. And it is uh, Coleman Were in the number two position, ensuring that uh, his throw must reach the intended target. And they played forward. Oh, and a knock on there by Davis Chenge. So How about chaotic line out there by um, the Kenyans? Paul Manwere unable to deliver to his captain, Davis Senge. Last week that worked a charm against Zimbabwe, um, but uh, it, Kenya unable to execute um, that line out. Uganda now have to get this opportunity to clear themselves um, out of uh, trouble, but their coach, John Duncan, has a lot of things to think about because Kenya is really putting Uganda under the cosh. So lost opportunity for Kenya. It's Uganda with the defensive scrum just five meters off their line. Good pick there by Marvin Odongo looking for Justin Kimono but doesn't get the pass to Kimono. Kimono hasn't touched the ball in this game so far. The Ugandan vice captain has been off the game a couple of seasons due to injury but it's good to see him back. Now a 
Chilton swimming around the foot, break there by McCormick. Of course, they've got a foul. This race needs to get support. Look at the support inside. Get it from Kokorat. Kokorat just being held back. Good to get caught by Kenya. Kenya just frantic in defense, but you got to look into that try. And just a knock on Quinton Imelman at the right place at the right time. He saw it. You can see just butchering that try, but uh, Kenya split in defense uh, and a good offensive play coming in from the place. Right. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant play by Ivan Magomu there. Cutting through the Kenyan defense, keeping the ball in hand. Uganda did not kick out of the defense and basically they said, let's keep the ball in hand. They challenged the Kenyan defense. The defense didn't have an answer. That should have been a try, but the ref said that was a knock on. Uganda showing their intent. Kenya very, very fortunate not to concede at that point. This is going to be an exciting game, Herbert. Uganda is not lying down, letting the Simbas go over them. Well, uh, Uganda number nine, Aaron Oferit, not happy with the referee's call, but it's Justin Kimono again looking to cut through the Kenyan defense. Not held, so keeps moving forward. And Uganda have suddenly switched on all the engines here. Okorat punches his way to beat one man, goes to the second man. Still not held, lays it down. Good support play coming in from the Uganda. Another big man coming into play. Big Marvin Odongo there, just making sure that he goes in. A nice offer with. Playing it on Magomo, Magomo looking for another cut. Oh, Justin Kimono. Good tackle there coming in from Vincent Mosso at number 15. So Kenya being forced back on defense. Uganda have suddenly found a spark in themselves. They've woken up and they'd like to make sure that they get as close as possible to the line. No hands! Kenya leaders! Play from the grains. Another big man coming into play. Ahmed Mugwerwa just looking to charge himself there. But to held back. And go for to look for the other options. He's got runners on either side. And that's played right. Magomo, long pass wide. And Wokorach just dances his way. The Capra sugar player makes it easy. What a beautiful try by Uganda. What a beautiful response. It's Kenyan based Philip Wokorach, seven star as well, who makes it five for Uganda. Like a knife through, a hot knife through butter, Uganda's backline is tearing the Kenyans apart. Amazing play by Ivan Magon, orchestrating this counter attack. Great play by Uganda. leaving from the front a couple of short phases really sucking the Kenyan defense in and executing well long pass there by Ivan Magomu and Philip Okarat like a hot knife through butter Uganda's back Uganda's back indeed Uganda are back there excellent move they were patient in attack seeing both wingers kimono as well as Odong coming into play at the end of the time they brought in Wokorach into the play and 7-5 is the score. Mosi, Mosi, 
squared up the Ugandan defense and sliced them through, giving Kenya a really great attacking opportunity. Discipline here is key. Uganda doesn't need to lose their shape. Kenya needs to take their chances. Right. This is the second time they've gone over Boys. without actually putting the ball down. It might come Six. back to haunt them later in the game. Kenya with an attacking scrum. Somo in. Stay back line. Use it now, use it. Onsomo just in looking for Ayangi again. Ayangi just uh, unable to breach that defense. Being closely watched by his opposite number. But still, Kenya have the opportunity. They've got to be sensible in the way they're working this ball, working their way to the line. Hurt, you can it's the big man who are looking to make their way. A poor pass for Onsomo. Chengi unable to hold. Now stolen by Uganda. But a referee already spotting an infringement. So there will be a penalty awarded to Kenya. So Kenya fortunate because they had made a mistake in that offense. Rock, let body go. Brian Asaba with a cheeky One move to there, up, touching off. the scrum half and making that knock on happen. Uh, you're going to need to be very careful here. Remember, they're on a yellow card warning from uh, about a few plays before when the referee was not happy with their discipline. And uh, they were lucky there not to be cautioned and even worse, maybe lose a man to the bin. However, Kenya still have the advantage here, and they can uh, put together something to try and make um, some value out of the position that they've got in the Ugandan five-yard line. So a change of tax by the Kenyan front eight, opting for the scrum instead of the line out. The five, eight, nine combination between Six. Onsomo and Chenge needs to come into play much more effectively for Kenya if they get points here. Good drive from Kenya. Chenge down, keeping the ball on his feet. Uganda collapsing. Penalty. And Chenge goes over for Kenya's second try. So the captain ensuring that it's business back. It's business as usual. Just taking off from where he left off last week with his first try of the game. Kenya stretching the lead to 12 points. And this time it's the captain who gets his name on the scoreboard. 20 minutes into the game, it's Kenya 12. You can do fine. Um, how about this is really a scrum. All eight really deserve this. The captain executed it well for them. Kenya holding their shape. Uganda really unable to maintain the strength of uh, that scrum, allowing the Kenyans to drive them over and then giving it what I would consider a soft try. However, every point matters. Kenya's foray into the Uganda 22. They've gone in there twice. They've got in two tries. This is really how they need to execute through the 80 minutes of this game. Darwin Mokiza makes sure of the extras, making it 14 points Let's go. to five for Kenya. So Kenya just stretching their lead. And it was a good scrummage there. Chenge with control at the back. And when he picked up the ball, there was no one. Or for it, could only do but watch as the number eight for Kenya making his presence felt on the field. Great response there by Kenya. Uganda now again have to dig deep and find an answer to yep. what has been a great onslaught by Kenya. Indeed. Ogomo with a deep kick. Picked well by Chenge once again. Just comes off Brian Asaba. Much the elation of the crowd. It's Joseph Adero. And now, good run coming in from Nyambua. Must get to the party on some of his collecting good ball at the base. Again, the big men of Kenya coming to four. It's a young front row, but uh, they're definitely playing their part in this game. As Akademo, rarely seeing him kick in this game, but looking for territory and does well with that kick. Just putting the game right back into Uganda half. That hurry up offense, Herbert, is really giving Uganda's defense uh, a lot of uh, problems. Kenya is keeping the game moving, keeping it quick is one of the keys, as I said. They have to keep uh, excellence of speed of execution. Kenya is and making Uganda get to a point where they're always offside in their defensive line, always backtracking, and that's going to give Kenya the chance to always be in the Uganda and have great kick there by Mukitsa. Uganda have to get out of here with a good execution. Poor line out execution, but uh, oh, out. Kenya was uh, infringing the line out with too many men. Relief for Uganda because that was a very poor line out. Now they have to figure out a way of getting better against the Kenyans. Uganda have the ball, got possession. Brad Asaba there just going it's down. Brilliant. Kenya controlling away from the tackle. The penalty to 
the Uganda crates. A moment for them to just reorganize. Because they're Alkans and Sonia, the guilty party. Now I like Philip Okorach to get some much needed ground for the Ugandan cranes here at the RFA grounds. Just to remind you that uh, this is a Rugby Africa Gold Cup match that also doubles up as the Elgon Cup and also is a Rugby World Cup qualifier 2019. And all this action that you're watching this afternoon, yeah, it's on Kwesi Absolutely, absolutely, Herbert. Excellent play here by uh, the Uganda trains as they restart. And let's see whether or not they can continue their good form against the Kenyan Bucks. Uganda in the dark kit, Kenya in the red kit. Or for with that number nine, just playing it, looking for a runner. The crowd there coming in from Elephant's Mount, Man Mountain of a player who plays for Capras in Kenya. And it's a long pass. So you gotta just need to step and move forward. Good run there coming in from James O'Dong, another player who's based in Kenya, plays for nondescripts on the Ngong Road. So quite a number of uh, Kenyan players, base players in this Uganda squad. And as we said earlier, Uganda have brought the whole World Cup Sevens contingent into this game. Definitely, this is a do or die game for Kenya, for Uganda. Feeling well, uh, Isaac Adimo kicks it wide. I wonder why he didn't take it uh, immediately, but doesn't find touch anyway. Oh, he does find touch. That's a little dig by uh, Ivan Magomo, okay. Jesse Chimono, and Philip Okaraj. Philip needs to be careful about tackling a man in the air, but uh, well fielded by Jacob Oje. And Kenya now um, are defending a line out inside Uganda's half. This is probably where they want to be, as opposed to in their half. Uganda reducing the numbers. And it's a messy line out for Uganda. Not the dig. And uh, fortunate for them that uh, they will get the call from the referee. It's an offer by Kenya. Wasn't the cleanness of lineups, and you said that oh, okay, number. could be a problem both in terms of feet to work and throwing Adrian. Absolutely, set piece execution. There's a young hooker oh, playing for Uganda, um, unable to clear the snook. Uh, Ian, content, considering a relatively good start in the first half of the of the game, but uh, Uganda having to respond to the Kenyan onslaught. The game looks like it has taken a bit of a, a, a tone down after that really exciting and electrifying start. Indeed, the New Zealand Rats. Holland coach facing five. a South African coach two weeks in a row. Six. Last week was Peter Devilius. He places John Duncan. Offer really the put for Uganda right at the feet of Marvin Adonga. Is it wide? Makomo looking to bring in Kimono into the game. But Kimono return back so Magumo gets a second chance played wide to Philip oh and he dances but unable to dance past the Kenyan defense this time uh, just, uh, Kenya. Dong, just uh, smarting himself but still Wokorash proving to be the difference in that backline in terms of quality and class and the excellent nice. player he is but he can't do it alone he's got to play the rest of the nice. Come here. Players. if that happens again Michael Okorach, another veteran in this side. Indeed, he's coming back from an injury on his knee. Um, they're really, yeah, I guess, walk? preparing them for the Seventh Nine World Cup. But the addition of these experienced players Open has up. helped the Uganda team. Are they able to run the gauntlet on the Kenyans over the next uh, 60 minutes and try and recover this game? Let's wait and see. Well, Kenya managed to get that line out. Cole Manuero just doing the cleanup. But. Uh, <laughs> Has the it. No, so See if the ball didn't get to the five. So turn over to Uganda. So Kenya a bit messy in the set pieces. Set pieces for both teams have not been great. Uh, Kenya has had a number of problems over the past few games in terms of their hot and cold. They execute some well and they don't do others uh, as well. Uganda there uh, 
have been let off the hook. There's a scrum in the center of the field with a chance to attack the Kenyans. Um, on that dangerous back line, Kenya would do better to take care of the ball when they have it. Offer it for Uganda. Nice, easy shove by the Ugandan pack. Magomo, key for Uganda. This looks to bring it into the first channel, but now picked up by Elkins Musonya. Musonya now just goes, misses one. Just pumping those legs. Good power play coming in from Musonya. Onsomo wants it quick. Manages to get it out. Looks for David Mukiza. Mukiza just plays it wide. Adimo Isaac, nice offload to Mose. Vincent Mose on the run, looking for support. Still just being allowed to pass through in that Ugandan defense. And now just setting up the Back. platform on Somo. Plays it wide. It's Kenya. Mangeni, nice pass coming in from his club. Made on Kenya close to the line. And it's his third try for Kenya. Excellent play. Wow. The crowd happy with that positive play because Kenya just played it short and narrow, short and narrow. And it looks like it was Samson Osomo, the Impala scrum off, who gets the third five pointer for Kenya. A good passage of play for Kenya, relentless in attack, good support, the points. Oh, no. It's that counter attack mentality Kenya has had over the past three games. Uganda knocked the ball on from a Michael Walker at, uh, when he got into contact, and Kenya did not waste time. They turned the ball, that's the knock on we were talking about. And immediately Kenya ran right back at the Ugandans. This is towards the end of the game. Short passes. Oliver Mangeni getting the ball. He's going to run right through there. Very strong tackle. And immediately he pops it right as he's down. On Somo. Over the line. The momentum takes him over. Oforo right unable to stop him. Great try by Kenya. Great execution. Passion is all in this game. Kenya has won this game. Samson and Somo winning the battle of the number nine. Just being talked to by the referee. Tell him just calm it down. Let's enjoy the game. So far, things okay, so don't mess it up. As uh, David Mukiza already on a 100% record, two out of two. We're looking to make it three out of three for his boots. Flags up, Mukiza again makes it sure. Kenya 21, Uganda 5, half an hour played into this exciting Elgon Cup game. And just starting with a new fence by Kenya on Somu just going over the line. The momentum fights. carrying him over. Although Oforith could do nothing to stop his opposite number. And Quinton Evelman was there. Well, uh, Uganda fans uh, with a lot of uh, spirit here. And uh, hey. Uganda will hey, start in the penalty zone. So Somu actually penalized for just being too aggressive, overly aggressive against uh, his opposite number, Aaron Oforith. So it will be Philip Wokoraj looking to find the much needed ground for the crates. Handbags from the scrum halves are not helping them. Oforio was actually um, cautioned just before that try and uh, on someone deciding to say I'm I'm your daddy. However, um, so keep your this cost off. it cost the Kenyans a uh, good field position. However, Kenya has actually scored a try every Five, 10 minutes. Adjust. Really doing well whenever they're in the Ugandan half. Uganda has to find a way of answering or else this game will get too far away from them. Paul Sakate Throw not straight. Option. Line out scrum. So, scrum. Advantage to Kenya. They decide to take the scrum. Not straight to the line out. Kenya Something ball. that the Ugandan hooker will have to work on because he's not been giving great throws. Indeed, he has great jumpers, but unfortunately, execution is very poor. That's very clearly skewed. And uh, that is going to come back to disturb the Ugandans because possession in the in your opposition half is really important. And every time you're here, Kenya has shown you they're going to score points. Uganda has been here about three or four times. They've only been able to breach the Kenyan line once. It's going to come Rouch. come to tell when the game gets into the dying in the second half. Set. Referee ensuring that stable scrummaging is the order of the day here. Use it! Use it! Use it! Being asked to use it. Chenge plays it on Soma. Good connection there. 8 9. Oh, good dummy there on Soma. Picking ground. Good support coming in from Elkia and Sonia. But that ball, well. Referee calls it a knock on. But actually, it may have been knocked by a Ugandan hand. But uh, the call will favor the Ugandans at the moment. Control. Uh, but it was uh, a tackle on, on Somo that uh, caused him to knock the ball forward. The Kenyan crowd not loving it. As you'll see Marvin Odong there, yes indeed, hitting on Somo's hand and enabling the ball to move forward.
Kenyan eyes would say that Odongo actually <laughs> hit the ball backwards. But here we are with the referee's interpretation. We've got to respect what the referee says. If you think the Elgon Cup is happening only on the field when it's a commentary <laughs> booth uh, for my Uganda captain just trying to nudge me over here with his interpretation of rugby. <laughs> oh, dear. And the citing commissioner threatening to cite either of us. So back to commentary. <laughs> it's Marvin Odongo. Just ensuring that he's got it tight at the back. Came out loose for Uganda. There's the ball. So Uganda still having the possession. Seven minutes to the break. It's so for with looking for runners on the left. This time it's uh, Charles Oguru. It's Charles Odonguru, number four for Uganda. Lady to Ronald Musaja. We haven't seen much of Musaja in this game. And he's supposed to be the key players in that front eight for Uganda. I mean, this is his first international this season. Um, we're never not sure Kenya. how he's been performing in Kenya. Um, however, we expect a lot of him because he was a player of the tournament in the Tier 1B a couple of years ago. And he's got the action to deliver. But huge tackles coming in from the Kenyan defense. Uganda still maintaining possession. Musaja and the rest of the Uganda team need to step up because the Kenyans look like they're hungry and they have the attitude to try and maul the cranes this afternoon. So Kifumbi just making his way through that Kenyan defense. Uganda still with possession of four plays it wide. Magomo looking for runners and he gets Wokorach. Wokorach plays it to a dome. Still, Uganda just inching their way to the Kenyan half, Release. and they do well the a deserve it. Release. There. Not releasing the tackler, Ayange. one against you. Indeed, um, one. Ayange, the new player in town. This is 15s, not 7s, and unfortunately for him, the referee said he was uh, unable to release the player on the tackle. Uganda has a penalty. They have a decision to make, uh, Herbert. They've had poor line outs so far. They have the ball in possession. They're good with the ball in hand. They've decided to go for touch. Really, their hooker has to come to the game today and execute a line-out to, in order for them to take advantage of this. So Ghana going for the long distance as well as a line-out. We'll be hoping, well, very good kick now coming in from Walker, right? So Ghana will be hoping that the hooker Captain. Captain. cut it. Captain. Yeah, but Dola have lost in this game. Tackle Justin Simon is. receiving sure, a severe hit. Yeah, Big yeah, tackle, good yeah, tackle yeah, from yeah, Jacob Ode. Yeah, Big yeah, hit there. Only Carter has to come to the party here with his throws. We'll be hoping for a much better throw. This time he got it clean, so you can't own the offense. Put their mole up and moving. Can you need to defend well? If not, they will be punished by it. Uganda. Keep it up, it's Uganda a ball. Very much disciplined in attack. Use it once. Being told to use it, so Oporith plays it wide. Magomo unable to get his first pass out, so plays it to Okoraj. The center looking for the fullback, but good defense up from Kenya. Kenya was quick off the blocks in defense there, but Uganda still with possession. What can they do? Magomo looking to go through his opposite number, back but uh, drops the ball, but he went back, says the referee. Off of dancing, but being held by Adimo, good tackle by Adimo leave, there. Leave it, Kenya! Uganda looking to turn that piece of possession. Continuing forward, they do, but stolen by Ayange. Excellent play. Now it's a counter by Kenya. On the run, Darwin Mukiza. He's got support all through. Mukiza plays it to Ayange. And Ayange will be making his first Kenyan try in the 15th shirt. He started the move and finished the move. Kenya scoring their fourth try in this game much to the elation of the home crowd. Classic, classic, classic turning defense into attack. He started it with a great turnover at his five-yard line. Great pitching of the ball against the Ugandan as the Ugandans were knocking on the door. He ran through and then they were patient. They were patient throughout that sequence. Everybody waiting for their support. Coming in, Isaac Adimo passing through with the uh, the Darwin Mukinza switching the ball and really taking the Ugandans by surprise. It's that counter-attack mentality. Kenya will attack you from anywhere. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant show by Kenya. Putting the knife and the dagger into the rugby trains as we close in on the first half. I, li I, I like the fact, Adrian, that you've acknowledged that the knife is now a dagger just being pierced into the Ugandan <laughs> shield. Uh, it's a shame, but it's true. Kenya is ascending. There are four tries ahead of Uganda. With about four, two more. 
Three tries ahead for Kenya there. Mukitsa with the extras. Brilliant counter-attack there. That's a pitch. Ayange taking the man through, looking for his support, looking for his support. Good communication by Kenya. Out there to Mukitsa. Mukitsa measures his man, goes through, switches back to Ayange. Brilliant, brilliant try by Kenya. Really, you've got to applaud that. Excellent play. 28 points to five. Kenya in the lead. Indeed. Ayange, proud moment for him. Proud moment representing his country in the 15th, winning his first four cup. And now his first points for Kenya. Good take by Oliver Mangeni. He's been good in there, especially collecting those kickoffs. And they're coming in up from the side. All so Uganda being penalized once again. John 14. Duncan will have a lot to think about. The South African born coach for the Ugandan side. Sure, will not want to be at the end of another hiding in this Rugby Africa Gold Cup match. How about the score doesn't reflect the nature of the game. It just reflects the precision of Kenya's execution. Every chance they've gotten, they've put points on the board. Uganda has been in this game the whole time. They just have not been as accurate as the Kenyans. Really excellent play by the Kenyans. They're looking disciplined. They're growing into this new system. Wow. Really great execution by Kenya right now. Well, there have been question marks about Darwin Mukita's positioning at number 12, but uh, from the way the game has grown, Darwin is having an excellent position. Just man, oh man, what up there? That was stolen by Uganda. Brad Asaba. You're off now, you're off, you're off. The referee just uh, asking for clean play there. Long worldwide. Philip Mokaraj. Good tackle coming in from Kilonzo. Entry. Entry. Coming in from the wrong side, Kenya being penalized once again. To also have the initial tackle, good defensive work. So Kenya will have to just There's watch their discipline in the contact situations. Coming in from the side, Philip Okarat, a very dangerous runner with the ball in hand, and uh, Kenya snuffed him out with a great tackle by Kilonzo. Unfortunately for them, they were penalized at that grab. But this is uh, Peter Kilonzo. Great tackle, good position, excellent play. Unfortunately, it was uh, Mukitsa who came up from the side and Ken side, Uganda side. has a try. In, out, sorry, uh, a line out inside the Kenyan Outside. 22 with a useless Option. line out. Left left half. Well, Paul Zakate <laughs> just making life difficult Off for time. the Ugandans. And uh, the fans not happy with the hookers' throws, but uh, the referee has blown it for the half. So Kenya leading in this uh, first stanza. Ian Snook will be the happier of the two coaches as the fans liking what they're seeing, 28 points to five, a 23 point difference in this game. They know that uh, the game isn't over, there's another 40 minutes. But as we head to the break here, just to get a cup of, a cup of tea, it's Kenya 28, Uganda 5, halftime score. Is Toronto. This is Iowa. This is Mid Ohio. And Sonoma. This is the Indy 500. Indy 500 power. Drivers like Power, Dixon, and New Garden. Try and take this crown. There's speed, a whole lot of speed. Street courses and ovals. Hairpin turns, close calls, and checkered flags. Are the fans? Oh, the fans. <laughs> Don't blink. This is me. This is you. This is IndyCar on ESPN. Get ready, Ghana. Quest just revolutionized home entertainment. Snap, snap, snap it. Get the latest movies and shows. It is an ideal which I hope to live for and to achieve. All the best live sport and something for all ages. Watch on up to four devices. Quest Beyond TV. Calling all NBA Africa fans. Don't miss the biggest local event of the year. Get ready as Team World tips off against Team Africa. The NBA Africa Game 2018. Proudly brought to you by Quest the home of the NBA. Quest 
Say TV is keeping you company anytime and anywhere. With your favorite shows and non-stop sporting events. So find what you want and press play on the Quesa TV app. Don't move as Quesa Sports brings you the FIFA World Cup Russia 2018 live this June. He's had a point. Catch all your favorite games plus non-stop FIFA World Cup coverage. Including exclusive interviews. Of course. And it's in Kahapon. The greatest World Cup moments. The world's most spectacular goals. Raps. Highlights. Studio build-ups. As well as non-stop FIFA World Cup shows to send you into a FIFA fan-feeding frenzy. The FIFA World Cup Russia 2018, 14 June to 15 July. Brought to you by Quest F3 Sports for the fan. Time here at the RFA grounds in the R Africa Gold Cup. 28-5 the score. Kenya leading by 23 points against Uganda. A pulsating encounter, an exciting 40 minutes of uh, rugby we've seen. And this was the story in the first half. Kenya starting on like a house on fire, really putting Uganda under the coach. They really are not wasting any opportunities when they have the ball in hand. Putting Uganda under pressure. The ball is going wide here. And uh, a try. For the returnee, Jacob OJ, after a sequence of play that had the Ugandan defences um, sucked in in the short inches, Jacob OJ opening the scores, 5-0 at that point with uh, Bukitsa adding the extras. The second try was Uganda's response after a great counter by uh, Ivan Magomo, Philip Wokarat saunters into the try line and puts the ball down with a great response from a ball in a counter-attack uh, co opportunity Philip Okaraj then bringing the scores to seven points to five they were unable to convert that and then Kenya decided that this is their house and their scrum woke up and squeezed the Ugandan pack stay down, stay down. putting the ball in with Chenge as the captain executing very well with a dominant pack score by the Simbas extending their lead to 14 points to five Kenya were not done yet um, thereafter, they decided every time they got the ball, counter attack stuff. Great run there by the fullback, Back. Um, Felix Vincent Mose. Great short interplay. And the scrum half after a bit of argy bargy with his opposite number on Songo putting the ball in for their third try. Short interplay there with uh, Animo putting the ball into Mangeni. Mangeni tackled and passing the ball in the tackle. Otomo holding onto the ball and executing well, putting the ball through, conceding a penalty thereafter, but Kenya consolidating their lead. And this was the best try of the half. Nice. Felix Ayanga with a pinch of the ball as Uganda were knocking on the door. Calmness and poise personified, sending the ball to Darwin Mukitsa. Looking at sizing up the Ugandan defense, James Odong had no chance after that switch, reverse play, and Ayange on debut. Kenya 7s converted into Kenya 15s. Excellent try there, putting the score to 28 points to 5. Kenya with a commanding lead in the half. And Uganda have a lot to ponder at the halftime break. Indeed, Kenya commanding lead of the Uganda in the half. And uh, it will be interesting to see what the two coaches will have to sell their sides. But uh, just shortly, we shall be back. Kenya 28. of the best. Here he comes again. Oh! Oh, yes. Bring home the gold with the IAAF only on Quest Sports 2. For the fan.
What's happening on ESPN? Superstars, super feats, and a whole lot of football. In July, MLB hits midseason with the All Star Game. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. X Games returns to Minneapolis. That's awesome. Have you ever seen a run like that? Unbelievable. Yes. August brings us World Rally Racing. Oh, no. I have a chance now to see what on earth has just happened. And Canadian football. Match it continues here. Overtime awaits. September rumbles with the AFL Grand Final. Guess who? That changes everything. College campuses come alive with NCAA football. Over the middle, touchdown! It's all happening in the months to come on ESPN, only on Quesse. Love watching Quesse? I think he's coming around. Hi. Don't miss out on your favorite family-friendly shows. Download the Quesse TV app Wait for the app to automatically install. Open the Quest TV app and register with your account number so that we can verify a subscription. Find what you want and press play. I have all the confidence. I have all the experience I can want. I'm just going to go out and do what I know I can do. Formula E. Back on the main straight away. Oh, man. World Rally Championship. Wow. And now he's gone. Oh, but it's not to rise in Indy Talk. Shake it, mate. What a weekend it has been. Speed thrills here. ESPN, your home of motorsports. Get ready, Kenya. Quest just revolutionized home entertainment. Snap, snap, snap it. Get the latest movies and shows. It is an ideal which I hope to live for and to achieve. All the best live sport and something for all ages. Watch on up to four devices. Quisse, Beyond TV. Back for the second half in this Rugby Africa Gold Cup match. Kenya 28, Uganda 5. A pulsating first 40. Wonder what's in store for us in the second 40, Adrian. Uganda will be hitting back, I'm sure. Indeed, they have to if they expect to compete in this Gold Cup. Kenya has really shown their teeth. The Lions are roaring. The cranes need to start soaring in order for them to try and get back into the game. It's going to be an exciting second half because Uganda is going to leave nothing. And Kenya is going to try and take everything. Brinton Nimmelman, the referee, just ensuring that all is in place. It's 15 versus 15. That's the second half uh, yet. This gets uh, about to get underway near the Harris Rear Grounds. It is Kenya kicking off a fourth or second half. Kenyan red playing from right to left, while Uganda in the dark colors defending from uh, left to right. Uh, so just joining us here at the RFA grounds, it's a Rugby Africa Gold Cup match that also doubles up as the 2019 World Cup qualifier. So it's World Cup matches here that are based on Kenya. Good attack, good attack there in the second half. The back three linking up very well. And it's a good burst there coming in from Davis Chenge. Referee already penalizing Uganda, so discipline once again costing Uganda here at the RFA Cross in this crucial encounter. Do or die for both teams. Both teams with World Cup aspirations. They want to feature in the 29 World, 2019 World Cup. And points will be vital. Indeed, Uganda kicking away position there uh, with Herbert Mashiro and myself, Adrian Bukenya, leading the country team. Uganda kicking away possession uh, aimlessly. That Kenyan counter attack was very decisive and a high tackle, giving Kenya a line out inside the Uganda to, to early in the second half, a chance for them to consolidate. Scoring at the end of the first half, will they score again at the beginning of the second? Good line out there by Kenya. Chenge collects, dropped there by Omangeni, but went back, picked up by Oko. Oko, good search by him. Uganda just scrambling into defense there. Kenya need to penalize their own insurgency. 
big sub there coming in from Andrew Choco. He's been a hard working in that boiler room as so well. He can score. Referee just asking both teams to show their discipline there in the contact situation. On some isolated, held up by Marvin Odongo. And it's supposed to be a big support to crowd or else Kenya will lose possession of that ball. Good play there by Kenya. But uh, knocked on up there. The Kenyan forwards. Resolute defense by the Ugandans. Kenya was knocking on the door. Great tackles. They were harassing the base of that ruck. And uh, there you go with Marvin Odong showing some leadership on Somo with the ball in there. But unfortunately for Kenya, he was a bit too eager and juggled the ball. That was the hooker, Lidre, uh, Coleman Were, unable to really execute uh, well for Kenya to maybe score a try early in the second half. From the RFA grounds, brought to you on Quasi Sports. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the rugby. Biko Adima will be the first Kenyan substitute. So Kenya making a change in the back line. A former Kenyan seventh international now winning caps on the 15 cap. Biko Adima looks like he will be coming in place of Peter Kilonzo. Just giving a final instructions to the incoming player. Be away. Yeah, yeah, Desmond will have a look Indeed, uh, Kenya there setting up uh, for a defensive scrum inside uh, the Ugandan half. About to make a, a tactical substitution, um, and I believe uh, Biko Adema is being added because they're seeing some holes in the Ugandan defense. Seven aside rugby being the theme here with Ayange, OJ, and uh, Adimo. However, Uganda need to find some spirit in order for them to find their way out of this hole that they dug themselves into. So the paperwork not ready for Kenya. So referee says play on. Offer with with the putting at the feet of Marvin Adongo. Adongo picks. It's held up by the Kenyan backs. But that's uh, a high tackle. Chenga being won by the referee. And quick tap there by Okoraj. Uganda wanting to play it from deep. This could be costly for them, but it's Okoraj there. It's being brought down. Good tackle there from Darwin Mokita. He's been solid in that. Uh, Second 5 8 position. Still, you're kind of playing it deep from their own half. Is this the tactic? Good break there coming in and from the center. Pius Otena breaking through, but brought down. Nice circle coming in. And still, you're kind of with possession. Kenya scrambling back into defense. You're kind of with fresh impetus in this half, they need to start catching up the points, they need to start scoring points. And it's a big man here yeah, coming in. Gerwa supporting Kafumbi. Kifumbi. Kifumbi. So the one, two, threes, just getting into the action here. Magomo plays it to Wokoraj. Wokoraj held back by Adimo. A bit of confusion there, miscommunication between the two Ugandan back players. But Oforit now finds Walker and dancing and finding Justin Kimono. Oforit just being held by fullback. Oh, Vincent oh. Mose. Good play there by Mose. And still, Uganda just continuing with the attack, moving forward. Even now, can you leave us? A few numbers there in that rock. So they start to play it wide. Big man, Uhuru. Uhuru for Uganda just goes forward. And still Magomo looking to break and a nice, nice, nice dummy. But held to by Kenya. And Uganda scored their first try. And the first try of the second half, narrowing the deficit to 18 points. Good try there. It's Ivan Magomo with a five-pointer for Uganda. So Uganda's efforts starting from deep, paying dividends. Ivan Magomo redeeming their rugby grades. We were wondering why they scratched the ball from their own half, but they kept the ball in possession. Magomo there finishing, solid the dummy, but someone able to hold on to him. Great play by the rugby grades. Keeping patient, making two line breaks through um, Among and uh, Payasogina. Really great uh, structure of a try there. 
I said it in the first half. If Uganda keeps the ball in hand, they will make it. And they add the extras. This game is going to get interesting. Whoever scores in the first half will uh, execute so well with Ronald Musaja Gulanyago giving way for number 20, Simon Olet. And Uganda back in this game, Herbert. And it because Yama comes in place for Kilonzo. So both sides making changes or let in for Uganda and Adima in for Kenya. John Duncan seeing it necessary to make some changes in the pack for Kenya. Ronald Musaja hasn't been as effective as one would have thought, judging from his experience, but he's coming back into the national team after a long absence. While uh, Ian Snook decided to bring in experience there by bringing in Biko Adema, and he's played both sevens and fifteens just to show up that back line for Kenya. And it's Vincent Mose. Good hands there, looking for support. Good run there coming in from Chenge. The tackle by Olet. Olet uh, he's got a lot of contribution to make it in this game. Good play there, but it's Kenya still in possession. So the big man just running short. Patrick Ouko playing it wide now. Dawid Mukiza needs to get this back line moving. Ayange, because he must fast touch with the ball. Just pushing Odong away. Back, back, back. It's a, Mukiza playing at half back for Kenya. Pass there by Paul Manuere, showing he's got strength in the legs. And Kenya on the offense. Good run there, Vincent Mose. Needs to make a clear pass. Just brought down there in the tackles of Kenya, just setting up a rock there, short of the Ugandan line. They play it long. Isaac Adima goes back into the traffic, just looking to set up a platform. They need the numbers. On Somu calling the shots from the base. Plays it right there with who's in that fly half. And it's Ouko just barging into that Ugandan defense line. The referee's already spotted an infringement and he's got his hands out. Kenya will get the penalty right in front of the post. It'll be interesting to see what Kenya do at this moment. Kenya with that magical counter-attack. Uganda with an aimless kick. Philip Wakarat has twice put Uganda under pressure. If he's going to kick, he needs to put it out of touch because the back three for Kenya are lethal. Mose bringing them back, orchestrating a counter-attack, executing extremely well. Uganda penalized for being offside. This, this is an, uh, uh, an indication that Kenya wants to win this game. They're going for post. Brian Asaba there receiving a big hit there from uh, Collins. Where, ooh, boom. Here oh. comes the boom, Coleman Wery and Brian Asaba, Wery wins round one. <laughs> it's Darwin Mukiza going for posts off the penalty for Kenya. Deciding he's not going to go for the line out this time, right in front of the posts. Darwin Mukiza with an easy three for Kenya, stretching the Kenyan lead. 31-12 it is Kenya Simbas against the Uganda Cranes. The Simbas roaring, the Cranes yet to soar. Well, they've soared a little bit in the first half, in the, in the beginning of the second half. However, again, Kenya really doing well to make sure that whenever they get into the Ugandan half, they come out with something. And this time, it was three points. Uganda now has to answer the question as to how they're going to get through the rest of this game with this big deficit. Great clearance kick there by Osomo. Putting Uganda back into their own half. And there's a, a line out at the halfway line for Uganda for them to structure a play. Indeed, changes. Dalmas Chitui winning his second cup for Kenya. He was uh, one of the key players last week. And Cameroonian born Marshall Chunka back in the Ugandan national team. It's been a while since we've seen him in great colors. So Uganda just strengthening their front row. And they're making a mess of that line out. Position now reverse to Kenya. A bit of miscommunication there between Scrum of Hooker and the jumper. Kenya very lucky there. They actually infringed and uh, infringed on the jumper, but the referee and the touch that uh, did not see it. Kenya now have a chance to attack at the same position. Well, 50th minute of the game. Long ball from Were. Good throw. Good response from them. And it all goes to waste. Elkins, Musonye, just losing concentration there. Apologizing to his teammates. A well-worked move 
and I'm sure they've done it many times in the training ground. Mangeni soaring like a basketball player, plucking the ball out of the sky. Unfortunately for him, Sonye knocking the ball on and really letting his team down because that was a really great execution from the line out. And uh, Uganda has a, a scrum down uh, halfway through, a chance for them to attack. Sonia on the bench, puts Nyambua on the bench, being replaced by Chitui. Of a riff, is waiting for a stable scrum, as is the referee. Looks like Marvin Odongo will pick 8 9, it is ready to 15. Now Justin Kimono beats OJ on first part, but uh, Darwin Bukis are just there with the cover defense. Uganda looking to play it. Sean Hardy is the Cameroonian born Ugandan Marshall. Just making his presence felt in this game. Good run by him. Possession good for Uganda. Kamkina shows that uh, he too has got good ball retention skills. Lorenz letting the team down. Now Kenya looking to counter on Somo. Plays it to Mose. Mose just beats one man, beats a second. Referee says play on, advantage play to Kenya. On Somo. Asking for the ball, but it's a penalty. Uganda not releasing on the ground. On someone who takes it quick, just looking to catch Uganda napping. Biko Adema, nice hands. Mangeni plays it wide. But a poor pass from Mangeni went forward. Just couldn't get that ball. And he and Snook will not be happy with that pass. Just play. He demands total perfection in execution. Indeed, uh, Kenya there taking advantage of Olet's uh, knock on. Uganda had started structuring some plays. Charles Uhuru coming off number four for Uganda, being replaced by um, Robert, Robert Aziku. Aziku, number 19. Uganda reinforcing their forwards there with the Chunkam and Aziku putting some ballast into their scrum. Will this make the difference for them? Only time will tell. Indeed, only time will tell because. Uh, a 19-point gap between the two teams. Five. Kenya 31, Uganda 12. Rugby Africa Gold Cup action coming you, to you from Quest Sports here at the RFUA ground. The scrums are not stable, so... <laughs> Mr. Quinton Immelman will ask for stability from both sides, both Kenya and Uganda. That was a smart move by Captain Asman Mugerwa with new players in his pack. He called for the ref to reset the scrum because I think he had some level of discomfort. And you know, rugby is a safe game, and therefore it was good for him to try and reset and let's see whether they can reconstruct the scrum and get the ball out to their backs. Scrum's going down. Kenya being penalized. So it's Kenyan tight head. Joseph Odora, the culprit, Kapras player. Not able to keep it to his feet there. And Mr. Immelman did not hesitate in penalizing the Kenyan front eight for that failed scrum. Unable to find touch, so counter attack time from Kenya. Vincent Mosa once again looking to orchestrate the move from the back. Darwin Mukeza has got support on the right from Miko. It was a bit short, but managed to get that ball in his hand, goes to ground. Somo does a lot of work on the base, beats one man, beats a second, plays it back to Mosa. Good play by Kenya with two hands there. Kenya's counter-attack is Uganda's main. This is the third time they've kicked the ball and not made touch. And Vincent Mose is lapping it up. On Somo there, sniping at the best. Mose back there, great offload, unfortunately for them. Unable to hold the ball there by Ayange. Great play by Kenya. Counter-attack rugby at its finest. When you see the Kenyan backs moving, you really want to see them keeping on going. But Uganda's defense really needs to rethink at the how they approach. 36 year old Vincent Mose having the game of his life here, being recorded in the Kenya squad. First played for Kenya over 10 years ago, and still showing that he has the legs to last the game. As the two technical men there, Ian Snook and Murray Holson, just uh, making more changes, directing Swangila Sibiu, the team manager, Africa's longest serving team manager, self proclaimed by him. But uh, Kenya will be looking to make more changes. The pace of the game slowed down a bit in the second half. Kenya need more points if you have to get those bonus points because you know the bonus Ups. point system has changed. You Five. only get a bonus point now if you are three Six. tries clear of your opponent. Indeed, and Kenya needs it given the fact that Namibia has been scoring at will. 
Uganda. Uganda there with uh, the restart, and let's see whether they can recover from uh, a little bit of a rough half with Kenya giving them all they've got. Wokoraj being held by Biko, good tackle by Biko. Wokoraj almost getting through there. Uganda still with Boba stolen by Kenya, turnover. Kenya need to get into counter-attack mode, Elkians Musonye. Well down as Chitui. Great, great pumping of the legs there, and a penalty by Kenya. Uganda coming in from the wrong side. On Somo quick to Biko. Kenya not giving Uganda any time to rest on those quick penalties, taking them quick. Earning much valuable ground there. Adimo plays it wide. Good hit there coming from Kenya from Paul Manuere. He's a pounder if you see the way he plays. Isaac Adimo to Dalvin. To Dalvin, but a poor pass. Now picked up by Kayange. Went back, says the referee. Kayange beats one man, goes down, held in the tackle. It's just still clean play. Oliver Mangani plays half back. Choco wide to Chitai. Big hits, but big hits all over the place. Uganda's defense holding ground, but can you still on the attack? Holding. Isaac Adimo plays it inside the channel to Oliver Mangani. Looks for support, still holding ball. That well. was well. Six foot six player. Biko Adima plays it to Mose. Mose looks for support, goes back just to set up a platform. Good, intelligent play by Mose there. Adima Isaac standing passes Kenya. Is what they're playing now. Not effective, especially at stand, stop, stop, start. But it's Ansomo just being held at the base. Never know, Uganda, leave it. Clean. So you're kind of looking to win that. Never, never, leave it, Uganda. There's a ball. Looks like it could be a turnover blow. But it will be Kenya. This all Kenya up. managing to keep position in all that confusion. As more substitutions by Kenya. Moses Amusala and Peter Kahari. All the experience of the bench. This seems to be the key for Kenya. Bringing in the experience of front rankers has to show up and put more stability in that pack. In the last week, it was the it was the tonic they needed to recover from Zimbabwe. Kenya has a very experienced uh, front row on the bench. They're bringing in over 100 caps to try and see if they can consolidate their lead. However, Kenya very very fortunate to maintain the position at this point. Big hits in defence. More substitutions being made by Kenya, bringing in the changes. Ian Snook. Fresh legs on the pitch. Ian Snook just looking to ensure that there's freshness out there. Simon Munyafu also being lined up to come in together with Martin Owila. So Kenya will be looking to give a majority of the bench a run in this game. Ouch! Comfortable in the lead. Probably looking more at uh, seeing whether they can get a bonus point in this game. On Somu. Plays it to Chenge. Chenge just holding it. There's a penalty already being awarded to Kenya. The referee doesn't waste time. Uganda Park just disintegrating from the might of the Kenyan strength. The changes. Peter Kaharia, Moses Amusala being felt. I tell you, you need the boiler room, Adrian. My friend, these things are not easy. The new tight five for Kenya have shown their intent. Uganda has to regroup. They also have a new a bunch of new players in that tight five. However, Kenya has laid down the gauntlet. They scored a try in uh, the first half. And right now they're destroying them in the tight five. This battle between the Elgon Cup is going to the trenches now. <laughs> this is the boiler room. This is that is the Absolutely. Nobody knows what happens there, but when you come out, oh my goodness. Five. It's what wins and loses games. Kenya opting for a scrum from that penalty on Somo with the signal. Chenge. You can holding their ground. So Somo plays it wide. Mukiza to Adima, change of pattern here, good break there. Also held by Okoraj, but Kenya still in position and dropping it, so position lost, knocked on by Isaac Adima, the number 10. Having put a foot in wrong today. Adima. Yes, indeed, there, Uganda's defense holding firm, and harassing them at the base. Once he picked the ball up, he was an active player, and the rack had ended, and therefore they had uh, access to that ball. And therefore, Uganda was able to snap out that attack. However, Herbert, it is another scrum down with all the reinforcements for Kenya rearing to go. The trenches are back. Uganda has to defend their line. They showed good strength in the last scrum. Can they hold their form in this one?
Indeed. This is a defensive scrum for Uganda. Uganda have to get out of the rock. About 20 minutes to play left in this encounter. Good scrum by Kenya, but uh, illegally pushing there. Amusala adjust to be the culprit. That's a big unit, Herbert. Very big unit. Not finding touch, Uganda. Will they be made to pay? Mose once again. Good run there. Finds Darwin Mukidza, Biko Adema. Straight into fullback Philip Wokoraj. And still Kenyan return possession. Ayange. Good Release. battle there. Good fight for possession. Onsomu wants it. Onsomu gets it. The referee says play on. Went back, says the referee. So advantage play to Uganda. Off for Roth with a kick up. And a chase coming in from Kimono. Kimono with a chase. Took defensive work there by Jacob J, but it's a good work there from Uganda. Philip passes it to Michael, and it's a five-pointer. Excellent play from Uganda. Didn't get their eye off the ball, and this is what you see support play turning into points. Excellent play by Uganda there. Aaron Aforoy was playing to the whistle. The Kenyans thought there was a knock-on. However, the referee said play on. They kicked the ball into space. Justin Timono recovered. Michael Walker right coming in with support play, receiving the ball from Oforoi Wat and excellently scoring in the corner. And this is that turnover, that kick by Oforoi Wat. Justin Simono eye on the ball, the bounce of the rugby ball, you never know where it's gonna go, but it went in Uganda's favor. Philip Wokaraj too, his namesake Michael Wokaraj, and a try for Uganda, they're roaring right back at them. Every minute of this game, everybody is drawing blood. Well played by Uganda. Michael walker with a try. The veteran centre there for the Cranes. Gets his team a much-needed try. <laughs> Philip unable to get the extras, so the scores do remain 31-17. 14 points is the difference between these two teams. Two converted tries sees Uganda level with Kenya. Looks like Simon Muniafu, son of the legendary Max, Mad Max Maena Muniafu. We are seeing sons now taking the place of their fathers. Last week we saw Malcolm, Malcolm Monsanto. Malcolm Monsanto. And this week we're seeing Simon Muniafu. So generational changes here. Proud fathers watching this game here on the ground. And this afternoon the proud father will be Maina Max Muniafu. Darwin Mukidza with a long kick. Picked up well there by Man Mountain, Eliphaz Omong. You kind of looking to attack from deep. And so far, it's paid dividends once or twice. They haven't gone for territory yet, just looking to run, run, waiting for gaps, waiting for holes. Somehow they feel that there will be holes in this Kenyan defense. Marshall Chunkam, the Cameroonian-born Ugandan, is making his presence felt. Good play by Uganda so far. Discipline, patience. But, and they do win the penalty from Kenya. Right off your the Kenyans are feeling a bit hard done by there. The referee said the ruck was formed, and Hayang um, Amusala was uh, penalized there for playing the ball while in the ruck. Second time he's being penalized by the referee, so he's got to be careful. Amusala got to get his technique right, and Uganda once again failing to find touch. He says it's okay. Chenke plays it wide. Darwin Mokita got his options. Does he run? Does he kick? Decides to kick over the Ugandan defense. Nice chase by Darwin. But picked up well by Michael walker for Uganda. Uganda is taking possession of Uruith. Plays from Agoma. Philip walker What can he do? Dances his way. Beats one man but held up by two. Forward yeah, pass up. there. And it seems that there yeah, will up. be a card. The first card stop, of stop, the stop, game, stop. so a yellow. It's a clear trip. So there was a oh, trip, okay, a yeah. deliberate trip. Trip. Mm. foul play there. So Andrew Chogo becomes the first person to go into the yellow, into the into the sin bin. Dubious it is, but uh, he gets the dubious opportunity to sit. Tacti tactically, Ian Snook must be really upset because uh, Simon Muniafu was supposed to just come on for Chongo and he has now lost a lock 
for um, the 10 minutes. Mukaraj there, the, the, the trip by Chongo was really unnecessary because uh, Kenya had Mukaraj in place, but Uganda has the man advantage now. It's a chance for them to try and consolidate that opportunity. As it happened last yeah, week, this week again, Kenya down to 14 men in the second half. Uganda with one man advantage. Can they take advantage? Kenya seem to be going, always seem to be going into a blip in the second half, Adrian. Indeed, the, the concentration is lacking. They don't have an, they're not an 80 minute team. And let's see if Uganda has a chance to now put uh, some phases together for them to Tackle, take release. advantage of this Tackle. one man opportunity. Release. Offer with plays it to Wokoraj. Justin Kimono hasn't found space the way he loves to run in games like this, being watched carefully by Jacob OJ. Magomo, he scored the first try for Uganda, the second try for Uganda. And still, the hits coming in big here at the RFUA ground. Kasita Sekate. Uganda with possession carefully and patiently, knowing that they do have the one man advantage over Kenya. 13 minutes to play in this encounter that you're watching on Quest Sports Rugby Africa Gold Cup match action. Kenya looking to consolidate their second place, by Uganda looking to get their first win on the road as well as in the whole competition. So far, trailing by 14 points, but still, you can never say never. Philip Walker, I nice saw flow to Marvin Odongo, seven star, alone with Mose. Mose went high. That one. Stop, stop. The referee says pose. I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay. That was a very right, dangerous nothing. tackle, head high tackle, yeah, and uh, Marvin Odongo is not too well. Nothing wrong. Um, let's hope both players are okay after that collision. Yeah, big collision there coming between Marvin Odongo. On a run there, just cut, but Mosa did go high. I don't know what the referee will be saying about this because that definitely was a high tackle. Head on head clash as well. Head high tackle and head on head clash. Quite unfortunate there, and uh, Odong is not in good shape, and neither is uh, Mose. So the both the medical personnel of both teams will have to come and assess the players. Odong on the ground, Mose on the ground. So a bit of a break, and uh, Mose, Odong just being walked off the field seems to be having a nosebleed at the same time. So he'll be in for some repair session. He was on a run there, one on one. This was brought down by a hard tackle from uh, Vincent Mose. Seems to be a bit groggy. So they must do the head analysis to make sure that uh, he's actually fit to play. Same as well for Vincent Mose. Absolutely. Both players showing really good heart. Um, yes, we need to have them uh, assessed and let's hope that they're safe. Rugby is a gentleman's game and uh, we expect that uh, after good medical assessment, they should be treated well for a good and valiant effort Time for both on. of these players. Yeah, the veteran, the 36 year old veteran just being left straight to the changing room. Safety is important. Safety is paramount. As you can see there, this was the run. Odong and Mose, a clash of heads. So the referee will take into consideration the safety aspect of the game. Kenya have already made their change. So, Xavier keeping a teach. Xavier keeping a teach on for Vincent Mose. There will be tactical changes in this game. Keeping a teach is slotting at fly half with Adimo going to first center. And, and um, Darwin at second with Biko going to fullback. But it's Uganda on the attack. Good tackle there coming in from OJ. Just watching the threat from James Odong, the non descript player. And it's a good counter up coming in there from the Kenyans. The Simbas are alive to the fact that that was a dangerous situation on Somo. But uh, Uganda being penalized in offside position, caught in the offside position. Yeah, but I think it might be a matter of interpretation. Yeah, fine, but fine, uh, fine. Uganda fans feeling that this might be their moment in the game for Sentensi. On Somo, that made at the base of that scrum and made the Ugandans go offside. The referee interpreted in Kenya's favor. Kenya able to relieve some pressure with that play. Indeed. Philip Walker has been working hard in this game. That's the dummy. Actually, it looked more like a knock on. By well, even, even, even worse that it was a knock on, but that's what made the Ugandan defender flinch. 
but Kenya's going to take advantage of this. It's their chance to try and consolidate their lead. Chetui goes into the traffic there. On Somo. Looks for his options. Darwin Mokeza looking to gain some territory. Doesn't find it. Okora trans again. The man of the moment. The man at the center. Puts it up for Gary Owen. Just chases it. Unable to collect. This time picked up by Biko. Good hands there by Biko Adema. Now slotting in at fullback. The former St. Mary's player. And as well plays his club rugby with no descript. Isaac Adema with a long kick. Trying to find some territory. But Uganda well at the back. It's Odong once again. There's a chip over the Kenyan defense. Odong just lets it bounce. Biko picked it. No high tackle, says the referee, so play will continue. The referee's given a good account of himself this afternoon. A lot good free-flowing rugby here. Marshall just dives and put his belly on that ball. Now Justin Kimono, can he beat the Kenyan defense? No, he can't. But he lets it go to Wokorach. Michael, Michael to Philip. The Wokorach combination there, threatening to do damage to the Kenyan defense. It's a good run there from Olet. Simon Olet, another of the fresh faces, fresh legs in the second half. Ogena. It's in Kimono. Just in Kimono. And Uganda coming strongly to this game. And it's a good trip there and a good run there. And another try. Excellent play. Nice grab and kick. Philip Walker was alert to the fact. And he does get the second five pointer in his name. The Kenyan defense asleep. And Uganda proving that they're still in this game. The crowd through, that Kenya. Walk, through that Walker Ranch try. The crowd has got bananas here in Kenya. The crowd at the Shadow the Rugby Club must be going crazy. And so are those at the Legends Rugby Club. Uganda with some great phases. Philip Wokorach finishing a great play. Ivan Makomu orchestrating the movement at the base of all those rocks. Okorach was with a quick dab. And the Kenyan defense turned around. Wokorach strong in the tackle on someone unable to take him out. Great score at the corner there. Great kick for Uganda. Chipping away at that Kenyan defense. Chipping away at that score. Nine minutes to go. Uganda's knocking on the door. Do they have enough time? to come back did a game of two halves adrian uganda looking the uganda cranes looking the much better side in this second half they will be hoping that they could add the extras but magomo unable to convert i wonder why they changed the kicker 31 22 is the score four in favor of kenya offer with a very intelligent kick there and the pickup coming in from Philip Wokorach, five points it was. Uganda slowly inching their way in this game. Nine points is the difference. Seven minutes to play. And there will be a change by Uganda. It's a scrum of, of a Ruth who goes off. And Conrad Wandera Wanyama, no relation to Victor Wanyama. <laughs> Is the, is the new scrum really? for Uganda. Really? It shows you how much uh, Uganda and Kenya are closely related. Wanyama has been the form scrum in Uganda for the Pirates team that won the league. Let's see whether or not he can orchestrate a formidable comeback with Uganda down by nine points. They've missed three conversions, six points unable to convert. They have got a chance now to get back into this game. Two scores away. Yeah. Uganda with the possession. Makomo. The ball off to Brian Asaba. Still Uganda. Marshall Chukam, the Cameroonian. Plays for Uganda. Olet beats one man, doesn't beat the second. Kenya doing all they could. Still like down to 14 like. men, Kenya. The second half, making it. Both sides have actually scored four tries apiece. The kicks that have been down Uganda. Good cut there, good break there, not held. Good support coming in from Kimono. Oh, Uganda. Just running rings around Kenya. Support needed there. Aziku looking for support. And Uganda slowly coming to the breakdown. And it's Magomo. Kick in the air, looking for the wing. 
This is dangerous time, dangerous time moment for Kenya, but it's a very unlucky bounce for Uganda. Fortunate for Kenya, John Duncan just holding his head. He knows if that kick had gone according to plan, well, they would be singing a different story. I think that was the wrong option by Evan Magomo. Unfortunately, he has not made no wrong move today. Had he kept on going to the right of the field where he had two men over, Justin Chimono and Simon Olet. However, he chose for the more fancy cross kick. The bounce of the ball is very unpredictable. This time, Uganda knocked the ball on in that play, and unfortunately for them, unable to take advantage of that brilliant break by the lock, Machom Chunkam. Another substitution, Kenya. This time, it's Joseph Ondero, who's off, and Hilary Mwanjilwa comes into play. Mwanjilwa making his debut in front of for Kenya. Five. Absolutely. And Kenya Six. back to 15 men. So it's 15 versus 15 on Somo for Kenya. Kenya needs stability. Kenya needs to stabilize Chenge. A much reserved Chenge this afternoon. On Somo plays it wide. Give me a teach. But just unable to make but it flow. OJ picks up the scrap. Now Kenya play on. On Somo. Has his options. Isaac Adimo decides to play it, punt it forward. It's a better kick. Maybe just to relieve the pressure and put Uganda under pressure. But Walker at at the back. Looks for his options. Chips over the Kenyan defense. Oh, just misses it. But picked up well by Elifaz Omong. Omong sets the base, sets the platform. So Uganda still have the ball. Standing passes from Uganda. They need to be moving. It's a so on combo, the new man at number 22 takes the ball straight into the contact for Uganda. And Uganda still have possession. Conrad Wanyama, the informed scrummer from the Pirates Club, are waiting for that ball. It's Marshall Shunkam. Easy for Mugerwa, just moving forward. Needs support, gets support. It's going to be a possible turnover there. But Uganda still in possession. Magomo. Finds Wokorach, Wokorach slices through. Wokorach throws it to be a handful. Unable to release that ball, Wokorach, but good play there from Olet. Bumps into the referee, the referee gets out of the way. Ready, save! And Uganda just having the better of the play in the second half. But a mark there, cold mark, a waste by Uganda. John Duncan up, the South African man, furious. And you can see him shouting. Second wrong option by Magomo again. Brilliant play by Philip Wokaraj cutting through to another unnecessary kick. Kicks have been the undoing of Uganda today. They've kicked aimlessly and allowed the Kenyan back three to come through. And in attack, they've kicked away possession when they should have done better to hold on to that ball and continue pressing the Kenyan attack. Adrian Casito comes in. Some more changes in the Ugandan back line. Kenya barely hanging on to their lead in this game with about two minutes to play in this game. The crowd nervy here. Wasted, lost by Uganda. Owila, strong man, plays for Nakuru RFC on somewhat the base. Finds Amusala, the Kenya Navy man, is using his weight. Still Simon Muniafu now, and out of the second half set, it is pumping, pumping, pumping. And someone collects it, plays it right. Adimo in good position. OJ, Darwin Mukiza, Pico Adema. Oh, but a mistake from the Kenyan back line. Eyes off the ball. They were looking at the line and not the ball. Hungry, too hungry. The Lions are too hungry. They would have had a chance to finish this game off. Unfortunately for them, they didn't let the ball get through the hands, knock on there. And uh, Uganda, with some relief after a poor line out, put them under pressure. Simon Muniafu, Aji Baji, balling his way through the Ugandan defense, bullying them. Amusala knocking heads. Kenyan crowd getting excited. They were scared there for a second. And Uganda have a chance to get themselves out of jail, deep in their own half, but time is against them. We are in the last 35 seconds of this game, according to our clock. Tackle! Tackle! Uganda still in possession. Start of your Kenyans penalized. Leave him, leave him. Kaharia, the, 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 the culprit. And it's so uncombo, Gerald. 
Jordan Seven Chamber. Marshall playing scrum off. Walker right once again. He's looking to just try and break through that Kenyan defense. It's Michael Walker right now. Looking alone, isolated, and taken out of the field. Good play there by Jacobo J. Walker Rush could do nothing there. The miscommunication between him and the new fullback Adrian Casito, unable to connect with each other. Walker Rush was escorted out unceremoniously by Jacob Oje. Oje tracking his man. He says, No, thank you. Not in my country. Please, I'll let you out of the field. Set on the line. Jacob Oje, KCP winger. He's got quite a number of tries in his name for the national team. Takaria with the throw. Good throw there. Therefore, he says, okay, play on. I'm on it. Leave it on out. Mangeni has had a blistering game this afternoon. And Hilary Monchirwa. Leave it now, leave it now. Big man there. And a Shut penalty awarded. Kenya take it quick. And so move. Brought down. Good tackle there coming in from Masaba. But still, Uganda will be penalized. Onjilwa again, borrowing his way, using all his 115 kilos. And this Kaharia playing it wide. Owila just racing to the line, goes down. The first goal playing the advantage, says no advantage. So he takes it back to the moment where he had initially spotted the infringement. There we go. Kenyan crowd can sense victory here. They want to try to finish it, and Moses Abusala gives them exactly that. A final try in this game. One that will make this crowd happy. Abusala with a five-pointer, taking Kenya's lead to 36 points to Uganda's 22. The KCP Pro, no stranger to scoring tries, usually finds himself in a Try scoring positions and today another try to his name. Excellent way to conclude the game. Kenya coming on strong in the last phases. Quick again, hurry up offense. They've been like this the whole game. Amusana looking at the line, clean pair of shoes. <laughs> Captain Asman Mugera was burnt by Amusala, showing him I can do it, OJ can do it, Amusala can do it. Oh, the big man. Closing the score for Kenya this afternoon. Why well, don't you get back, please? There you go. One, two, Darwin Mukita. Go back. Take the win. Very, 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 to his points tally for this game. He has 11 points to his name so far. It's only one kick. Let's see if we don't put the hood on him. Excellent kick. He's been the difference in the game. The game ends. Kenya coming up triumphant in the Elgon Cup game. 100% record. It's been a good game. It's come to an end and the fans here will celebrate yet another win in the 23rd encounter between these two teams. Kenya with 13 victories overall against Uganda. Onsomo was scored in this game. Ayange scored on his debut. The substitutions making the impact for Kenya. It was a shaky second half, but uh, in the end, they had done the hard work in the first half to ensure that yet another victory in the chase for World Cup sports. Disappointment for Uganda. Marshall should come there. He didn't have the necessary impact that would have been expected of him in the second half. But the fans will celebrate long into the night. It's been another memorable victory. The full time score Ruff, Rugby Africa Gold Cup. Kenya Simbas 38, Uganda Cranes 22. <laughs>